Hello, everyone. My talk today is over the edge pounding the Windows kernel. As you know, the Microsoft, they are improving exploit mitigations day and day. So it's more and more difficult to break out the edge sandbox. In the last year, my team have achieved three different ways from edge to system. And I'm very glad to share my research with you at the Hilby conference. Uh, my name is Runter. I'm a security researcher of Tencent Zhan Wu Lab. Tencent surely is a company name. Zhan Wu Lab, maybe you have not heard before. But I think some of you know about the King Lab, right? Tencent's King Lab. We belong to a Zen department. Currently, I'm focused about kernel security and uh, bug hunting. You can find me on Twitter. And uh, this, this is my Twitter account. About my team, uh, the director of my team is Yuan Ge, one of the most famous hackers in China. Yes, he is. He had achieved a way bypass ASAR and the DP without ROP nine years ago. He did. So he is very famous in China. The Zhan Wu Lab and the Tencent King Lab and the Xuan Wu Lab, they all belong to Tencent Security Joint Lab. And uh, we are Pantone winner for age last year. And uh, we are hiring. Anyone want a job for security research or just bug hunting, please contact me. Uh, this is a Twitter account of my team. The presentation will be divided in two parts. First part, I will talk about the Win32K subsystem, how to analyze and how to fast. I think some of you already know about the Win32K subsystem. Right? But I will introduce several of my unique discoveries. The second part, I will discuss four vulnerabilities or three exploits I have used. At last, I will show you a demo from Edge Get Remote System. Vinci2K is a huge and complex subsystem. Basically, it contains two types of objects, the user object and the GDI object. If you are familiar with Vinci2 program, you will learn about some objects such as uh, window, menu, bitmap, device context from the Microsoft document, right? But as a bug hunter, we need to understand more than the document. A global variable in kernel, it named G shared info. It contains all the user objects hand info. And for use object, the allocation function is hm allocate object. So we look up the cross reference of hm alloc object function. We can find out almost all the types of use object.
similarly as the use object. A global variable named g.h manager is in kernel. It maintains the hand info of all GDI objects. And uh, the same as the user object. We can look up the reference of locate object function. And we can get most of the type, types of, object, of GDI objects. Uh, this table show almost all types of user object and uh, GDI objects. For window, the B type is one. For menu, the B type is two, and so on. Now, how to fast the Ring two K subsystem? The state of the art, sure, it's right. The basic thought of my father is fast the relationship. First, we study the relationship between different objects. And then we find out all the operations with the relationship. And we can do the operations readily. And at the same time, we modify the state of the objects. If you have good luck, you can already get bugs. The table shows a several relationship between several objects. For a window, you can set parent window. Yeah. And for decomposition, you can set you can you can remove or replace children. <coughs> However, if you do this job a little longer, you may feel that it's getting harder to find available vulnerabilities. Obviously, so many people have fast the VC2K already. Yeah. And some of them are still fuzzy. So we need some different point of views or we must find some unique attack vectors. So, dig, dig in a little deeper. If you have diff the syscall table between NT4 version and uh, NT2000, you will find some syscalls disappeared from the table. Where are these functions now? Microsoft had moved them to a function table. It's named GAPFN message call. In fact, we can call these functions directly by passing different XPFN proc parameters. The same, you can find another function table, APFN simple call. We can also call these functions directly by passing different XPFN proc parameters. So, my father, we are going further deeper, right? Uh, another attack, attack of surface. Yeah, 
you know about it. It's, it's first discussed publicly at 2011 year, seven years ago. The Windows kernel enabled a mechanism from kernel mode callback user functions. Obviously, this mechanism is easy to lead synchrony issues. But so many years passed. Microsoft has patched it many times. Can we still get something from this attack vector? I think we can. Let's review the WinC2K. Let's see many reference of K user mode callback function in WinC2K. Now, how to find bug by code auditing? I think it's difficult to get bugs by code auditing because seven years passed. Many people already audited this code, right? So I choose fuzzy. In a PAB structure, a field named kernel callback table, it points to a function array, the user mode callback functions. We can hook some of these functions and build more complex father. Let me show you. This is a sample code of my father. When my father initialized, I hook several functions of the user fun callback table and set them jump into a common entry, the client callback function. And we, sh and we need to pay attention to avoid re-entry this function. I do fast link this entry once again. This method will make our father the, execu the execution path of our father could be very complicated. Yeah. So this method can really find bugs. But it's a big problem because of the hooks. The crash stack will be untrackable. I have to spend a lot of time for guessing and analysis to reproduce these issues. And uh, I don't have a perfect idea for reproduce matter, but it works, but you can find bugs. Another attack vector, maybe no one had mentioned before my talk. The public, the public object. When I observe the GDI object handy infer in kernel, I notice that some objects have a zero owner PID. It means the object is a public owned object. In fact, the object with a zero owner PID usually is created by WinC2K driver itself. The kernel mapped the GDI handle info table to user space. In the PEB structure, the GDI shared handle table, this field,
When when three two K no longer disclose the kernel address of GDI objects, but we can still get valid info from this table, such as the hand value and the owner PID and the type of the object. So we can search public owned object from user space. Uh, this is a sample for search public owned palette. Uh, for palette, its object type equals to eight. And uh, I search, I search the GDI table. I search the GDI info table. And uh, when I found the object, its owner PID is zero. I add this object to my fuzzing list. By fuzzing the public owned object, I got some unique bugs. The second part, how to escape from the H sandbox. First, I give you a short briefing about the H Cisco field. As the picture shows, the VC2K filter blocked most of winc 2 k calls from the edge content process. As this picture, uh, Microsoft had implemented six different tables as service table filter. Cisco should be blocked or not according to, to the filter table. Now, the ring C2K filter greatly reduced the attack surface from kernel. So, it's a huge challenge for breaking the edge sandbox. I will introduce three ways over the age. First, analyze the object operation functions from the unfiltered Cisco list. And we can fast these few objects. Second, abuse a bug in Chakra engine to bypass WinC2K field. It's an interesting bug. So, fast the DirectX graphic kernel driver and get available vulnerabilities. The CVG 2017-8465 It's a cursor use R3. It's a very good, it's a very good vulnerability discovered by Inlian of Tencent Security, of Tencent Security PC Manager. Uh, Inlian is a good partner of my team. We can review the proof of contest call, contest first. As you see, all the functions we need for tricking the bug is not blocked before before June last year, and we had uh, used this bug bypassed eight sandbox in point one. The root case, the root case of this bug, the specific flaw exists within the link cursor function. 
When a user unlink a cursor from the DPI link list, a user of free exists. Now let's study this case. For a user, uh, for a user, uh, for a cursor object, it has two pointers: the head point and the next point. If you linked two cursors together, they will form a double link list, as you see. So, the first step, we created two cursors and link them. The second stop, the second step, we can reset the cursor two. Cursor two, its head point to itself. Step three. We destroy cursor two, and the next point of cursor one. It point it point a freed cursor. Yeah. So now the next point of cursor one is a dangling point. Next, when we destroy cursor one. The kernel will go on to free the cursor two once again, right? So it's a double free. For use of free, we must know which part of the freed object could be used, could be reused. For this case, we used the next point of cursor one. We reclaim the freed cursor two with the accelerated table object, and when uh, and we construct the fake cursor two data. Make its next point point to a controllable memory. When we discard, when we destroy cursor one, a function hm mark object destroy will modify a bit of arbitrary address we specified. Now let's put it together. The exploitation steps is as follows. First, we link two cursors and then destroy the cursor two. Second, we spray accelerator table objects to reclaim the freed cursor object. Third step, we trigger we trigger this vulnerability, and uh, we can modify a pallet object, and we abuse pallet primitives to gain full access of kernel address. This bug is patched on June last year. The Microsoft delete create empty cursor functions from APFN symbol core table. So you cannot create a empty cursor. And the user no longer can can no longer link two cursors at all.
a checker bug for bypass VC2K field. It's a very good bug. The analysis is based on Redstone 3 versions before September of 2017 year. Review the code of PSS VinC2K filter enabled function. You will find a mitigation flag named Enable Filtered VinC2K APIs. What's about it? From the Windows 10 Inside View, Inside Preview versions 15048, as I remember, the Edge browser enabled out of process JIT server. The JIT server is introduced as a mitigation against abusing JavaScript JIT code bypass CFG, but it also introduced a good bug. For the JIT server process, we found that the Win32K field is not enabled. Did you see? It's zero. So, if we can execute arbitrary code in the JIT process. We can bypass the WinC2K filter. When I observe the hand infer of a edge content process, as the as the image shows, the JIT process PID. 6464. Four. I noticed that a edge content process owns a process handle. As you see, DUP handle. The process explorer failed to decode all the handle info, but What's this? Why these handles had DUP handle permission? Let's review the chakra code. We read the code of JIT client. And we find that this handle is used for communication with the JIT server process. And it can be used to duplicate a full access process handle from the JIT server. So it's a very good bug. The proof of contest code as follows. We just duplicate a handle of JIT process. And we have full access permission to JIT server. We just inject shared code to the JIT process. Abusing this bug, we can bypass WinC2K filter from edge content process. And we can exploit a WC2K bug without restriction now. A WC2K bug. CVE 2017-8580. It's a pallet use R3. It's a good case I found. And uh, it's about public. GDI object. Let's review the root cause of this vulnerability. This function, eng delete palette, is designed for print for printer driver and the display driver. You notice that 
it passed a shared lock equals to two to the unref pilot function. When you when the kernel invoking EPAL OBJ constructor, it auto lock once. So ENG delete pilot function could be used to free a pilot with no with non-zero shared count. First we created a pilot. Surely, the share count is zero, right? And we select it to a, to a device context. But I found its share count is still zero. What's wrong? Actually, the device context did not reference a pilot directory. It referenced with a surface in kernel. And the surface could reference a pilot. So if we create a device independent bitmap with this device context, the kernel will create a public palette. Copy color data from the palette we previously created. This public owned palette, its share count is one. Now we can search the shared hundred if we can search the GDI hand table in user space and find out the handle value of this public public pattern. Finally, we can delete this palette and it's what we get now, a device context has a point referenced to a bitmap in kernel and uh, a surface a surface point referenced to a freed palette. So let's reuse the freed palette. When you review the code of GRE set DIB color table function, you can find that the copy RGB quart function will copy data from user memory to the color table of palette object. The exploitation steps as follows. First, we trigger the vulnerability and allocate server meta file objects to reclaim memory. And then we call the set DIB color table and we can get a arbitrary address right. Abusing the bug with the checker duplicate handle issue, now we can escape from sandbox. The pilot use are free, patched on July last year. Microsoft just fixed the shared count passed from ENG delete pilot. And the duplicate handler issue of Chakra Engine collided by Ivan Frederick of Project Zero. 
the Tuesday of September last year, I was ups- very upset because I have three good chakra bugs been patched in one day. And now the chakra JT process enabled the filter flag. So maybe there's no filter bypass anymore. Yesterday, at this conference, track four, two researchers from Microsoft they have a talk, the life and the death of kernel object abuse. Death, they used a terrible word, but probably it's true for Win for Win two K. From the Windows 10 Redstone 4, Microsoft introduced type isolation for Win 2 k This mechanism separates the metadata from the head of a GDI object, and it truly cleared the popular exploitation techniques such as bitmap primitives and palette primitives. So, for breaking sandbox, the ways from win 2 k is very hard. What shall we do now? It's time to turn our attention to another subsystem. DirectX subsystem. It can be considered as an extension of win 2 k Many of the DirectX kernel functions are still not filtered. Maybe there's no much time to talk about how to fast the DirectX kernel. So let's review our exploit first. The CV 2018 discovered by my father. When a user submit a command to direct X kernel driver, the driver will notify system process, start a worker thread to execute the command. An untrust point reference exits in basic render. If we construct a spatial command, and submit, we will, trigger, we will trigger a press. And we can control the RDI re- register and the RIX register. And for guard dispatch I call nope function, in fact, there's no check for RAX re- register. So, no kernel CFG for this case. So we are going to rope. But it's not easy for rope. Because the crash is occurred in system process. For system process, there's no user memory, right? And we must lay out data in kernel. How should we do? And for system process, there's no Win32K objects, neither. Because the Win32K objects their insertion pool is not mapped to system process. So, I used an empty object, an empty kernel object, named pipe, to lay out data in kernel. When I began to rope, I set RSP register point 
to the pipe NAND. Yeah. A NAND pipe, it contains a point, point to a wide string. Obviously, we need a info leak because we need NT kernel base to calculate gadget's address. And we need the pipe length address. I found a very good kernel info leak, but it's still unpatched, so I will not discuss this issue in this speech. Anyway, we had an info leak already, and let's go on the exploitation. I have found some gadgets, as you see. We can control the RAX register by an instruction of KSE get IO callbacks function. Right? And uh, then we can set the value of RCX register. And finally, we got arbitrary address write arbitrary value. For a kernel exploit, it's okay. So, it's a demo. Uh, first, we got a code execution by a JIT bug in checker engine. How to start? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Very fast, right? This issue is patched in last month, once again, collided by somebody. On the announcement page of this bug, Microsoft made a mistake. It's not a Rinse2K bug, I think. It's a direct X elevation of privilege vulnerability. Thanks to my colleagues, Yuan Ge and uh, Chen Nan, most of my research is owned to them. And thanks Yin Liang, our PC manager. He's a kind man and he's a good partner. And uh, thanks to Henry Li of my lab. He provided the chakra exploit, which you just saw. And last, thanks to Peter, of KinLab. He had did a nice job about kernel exploit before me. Uh, this is the reference. Uh, anyone has questions? So we are going to open the questions on the floor. Anyone have any questions want to ask? Yes? No? I mean, you oh, stop. Okay. Uh, so the direct X bug you, you showed here, is that the one used in Pawn to Own 2018? Uh, the cursor used R3. Yeah, the cursor used R3 we used in and last year. Yeah. So uh, because in 2018 there was a, a Firefox, wa Firefox sandbox was bypassed using a claimed Win32K kernel exploit, and I heard it was the same vulnerability that you showed here, the direct X vulnerability. So do I understand correctly that Win32K lockdown would not have prevented this? Uh, sorry, you're wrong. <laughs> so the uh, Win32K lockdown would not have prevented the direct X vulnerability, is that correct? Oh, sorry, fine, yeah. Uh, 
的，你可以稍微解构一下当当时在做的游戏。呃 ，for Firefox is not it's not blocked from Win C Two K. Yes, yes, we know. The question was for uh, uh, our、sorry. question basically was if we would have blocked it, would it have helped? Because we are not blocking it right now, we are、oh. having a lot of trouble.、Uh, if you block the Win C Two K six cores, right? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, if you block it, I can. I think it cannot. The、uh, Win C Two K bar will be un unavailable from for sandbox. Okay. Thanks. Any more questions? If you guys can、uh, meet him personally to ask more questions, I will be translator for you guys. Right. Thank you.